Welcome to our exciting journey into the future of wildlife. Imagine a world where creatures long vanished from our planet roam once more. It might sound like science fiction, but the idea of bringing extinct animals back to life is rapidly moving from the realm of fantasy into the world of scientific possibility. Today, we're exploring five incredible animals that scientists believe could be brought back to life by 2028. These aren't just any creatures, these are iconic species whose absence has left a profound gap in their ecosystems. From the frozen tundra to the lush forests, we'll delve into the groundbreaking work of dedicated scientists racing against time to rewrite the story of extinction. Get ready to discover the cutting-edge technologies, the genetic breakthroughs and the unwavering passion driving this incredible scientific endeavour. It's a journey that promises to redefine our understanding of life, loss, and the very future of our planet. Our journey begins in the frozen wastelands of Siberia, where the remains of the mighty woolly mammoth lay buried for millennia. These majestic creatures, perfectly adapted to the harsh ice age, vanished from the Earth around 4,000 years ago. But now, thanks to remarkable advances in genetics, the prospect of their return is closer than ever. Scientists have successfully mapped the woolly mammoth's genome, revealing its genetic secrets. This breakthrough has paved the way for a revolutionary process known as de-extinction, where ancient DNA is used to recreate lost species. The process involves meticulous gene editing using sophisticated tools like CRISPR technology. Researchers aim to modify the DNA of Asian elephants, the woolly mammoth's closest living relatives, to introduce mammoth-specific genes. These genes control traits like thick fur, layers of subcutaneous fat, and adaptations for surviving frigid temperatures. Imagine herds of woolly mammoths once again traversing the frozen tundra, their massive tusks cutting through the snow. Their return could have profound ecological implications, potentially revitalizing the Arctic steppe ecosystem. The mammoth's grazing patterns, for example, could help restore the grasslands, creating a more hospitable environment for other plant and animal life. The prospect of bringing back the woolly mammoth is both exhilarating and daunting. It raises ethical questions about our role in manipulating nature and the potential consequences of such interventions. However, it also presents an unprecedented opportunity to right past wrongs and restore balance to our planet's ecosystems. Our next stop takes us to the skies of North America, where vast flocks of passenger pigeons once darkened the sun. These birds were once the most abundant in the world, with billions of individuals soaring across the continent, but their incredible numbers proved no match for human greed. Overhunting drove the passenger pigeon to extinction in the early 20th century. Now, a dedicated team of geneticists and conservationists is working tirelessly to bring back this iconic species. Their efforts centre on advanced cloning techniques and genetic manipulation. The team is using museum specimens of passenger pigeons to extract DNA fragments. These precious fragments hold the genetic blueprint of these remarkable birds. By piecing together these fragments, scientists are gradually reconstructing the passenger pigeon's genome. The next step involves introducing passenger pigeon genes into the reproductive cells of closely related species, like the band-tailed pigeon. If successful, this process could result in the birth of passenger pigeon chicks, bringing the species back from the brink of oblivion. The revival of the passenger pigeon would be a powerful symbol of hope for conservation. It would demonstrate the incredible potential of science to reverse even the most heartbreaking extinctions. Imagine once again witnessing the awe-inspiring spectacle of millions of passenger pigeons taking flight, their wings beating in unison, their calls echoing across the land. Chapter 3 We journey now to the island of Tasmania, off the coast of Australia, where a creature of both beauty and mystery once roamed. The Tasmanian tiger, also known as the thylacine, was a unique marsupial predator with the stripes of a tiger and the pouch of a kangaroo. Hunted to extinction in the 1930s, the Tasmanian tiger represents a tragic loss of biodiversity. But hope for the thylacine's return is flickering once more, thanks to the tireless efforts of conservationists and scientists. Their ambitious plan involves using cutting-edge genetic technology to bring this iconic species back to life. The project hinges on the remarkable preservation of a Tasmanian tiger pup, preserved in alcohol for over a century. This tiny creature holds the key to unlocking the thylacine's genetic secrets. Scientists have successfully extracted DNA from the pup, providing them with a blueprint for de-extinction. The next challenge lies in finding a suitable surrogate mother to carry a Tasmanian tiger embryo. Researchers are exploring the possibility of using closely related marsupials, such as quolls or Tasmanian devils, as surrogates. 
the return of the Tasmanian tiger to its native habitat would be a monumental achievement. It would mark a turning point in conservation history, showcasing the power of science to restore what has been lost. Imagine the dense forests of Tasmania once again echoing with the haunting calls of the thylacine, a testament to the resilience of life itself. Chapter 4 Our journey takes us next to the island of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean, once home to the remarkable dodo bird, this flightless bird, known for its peculiar appearance and gentle nature, became a symbol of extinction after being driven to oblivion by human activity in the 17th century. But the dodo story may not be over. Scientists are exploring the possibility of using genetic engineering to bring this iconic bird back from the brink. Their work centers on reconstructing the dodo's genome and finding a suitable surrogate parent. Researchers have been painstakingly analyzing DNA fragments extracted from dodo bones and preserved tissues. These fragments, like pieces of a complex jigsaw puzzle, are gradually revealing the dodo's genetic makeup. Finding a suitable surrogate to carry a dodo embryo presents a unique challenge. Scientists are considering closely related bird species, such as pigeons or Nicobar pigeons, as potential candidates. These birds share some anatomical similarities with the dodo and could potentially provide a suitable environment for a developing dodo embryo. The prospect of seeing dodos waddling once more through the forests of Mauritius is a testament to the ingenuity and determination of scientists working to restore our planet's biodiversity. Their efforts offer a glimmer of hope that even the most iconic victims of extinction could one day be given a second chance. Chapter 5 Our final destination takes us back to the Pleistocene epoch, a time when giants roamed the Earth. The saber-toothed tiger, with its fearsome elongated canines, was one of the most iconic predators of this era. Though long extinct, the possibility of its revival is capturing the imaginations of scientists and the public alike. Bringing back a creature as formidable as the saber-toothed tiger presents unique challenges. However, advances in paleogenetics and gene editing technologies like crispr are, are making this seemingly impossible dream a tantalizing possibility. Scientists have successfully extracted ancient DNA from saber-toothed tiger fossils, providing them with a glimpse into the predator's genetic makeup. By comparing this ancient DNA with that of living big cats like lions and tigers, researchers are identifying the genes responsible for the saber-toothed tiger's unique characteristics, including its massive canines. The next hurdle lies in finding a suitable surrogate to carry a saber-toothed tiger embryo. Lions, as the closest living relatives of the saber-toothed tiger, are considered the most likely candidates. However, the ethical implications of bringing back such a powerful predator are complex and require careful consideration. The potential revival of the saber-toothed tiger raises profound questions about our relationship with the natural world. While the prospect of seeing this magnificent creature roam the earth once more is alluring, it also underscores the importance of responsible innovation and the need to consider the potential ecological consequences of such groundbreaking scientific advancements. Outro. It's an exciting time for science and wildlife conservation. The possibility of bringing extinct animals back to life, once a distant dream, is now within the realm of possibility. While significant challenges remain, the breakthroughs we've explored highlight the remarkable progress being made in the fields of genetics, cloning and conservation. Stay tuned for more updates on these incredible projects and the future of our planet's biodiversity. The dedication and passion of scientists around the world offer a beacon of hope for a future where we can not only protect the precious life we have left, but potentially restore what has been lost. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more amazing content. Together, let's continue to explore the wonders of science and the future of life on Earth.